Hey Aries, how's it going? Welcome to your July 2024 reading. We're going to get right into it. I'm going to pull cards for love at the very end of the reading. Um, we'll see what the month of July holds for you. So do take what resonates. You know this. Always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. Guys, for the month of July, I am giving away one free personal reading. I, I normally do two or more, but I am going on vacation. So this month, I'm going to narrow it down to one, just one free personal reading. I, I will randomly choose that one person at the end of the month. I will remind you at the end of the, July to pay attention to your notifications because those that participate, one person will be hearing from me. Um, but I'll always remind you at the end of the month, each month, to pay attention to your notifications. Those that participate, like I said, will be hearing from me, um, whoever's chosen. So if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in these monthly giveaways. Closing out June, I gave away three free personal love readings. So with July coming and me going on vacation, one personal reading, um, whatever emoji you would like to leave me down below, Go ahead and leave an emoji. It could be of your choice, um, but leave some type of an emoji letting me know that you're interested, okay? All right, Aries, let's get into your reading for the month of July spirit for my Aries. All right, we've got two animal spirits. Spider spirit, make your dreams real, and ant spirit, time to collaborate. For some of you, you could possibly... Be working on a project together, you know, with a co-worker. I just heard moving in together. For some of you, you may be thinking about moving into um, having a roommate, moving in with a friend or a family member. But I feel you working additionally hard, you know, on what you want throughout this month of July. Make your dreams real. What does a spider do? put endless effort into their web. That is their masterpiece, right? That is their sole purpose, is their web, is to survive. That is their protection. And I feel a lot of growth and work on yourself. But I feel a very special connection here with time to collaborate, time to come together with someone special. Like I said, maybe working on a project together, remodeling your home with a friend, moving in together with a friend, maybe a romantic partner. Make your dreams real. I just heard it's worth the effort. Okay. Being very practical and very strategic about your dreams throughout the month of July. All right, Spirit, what do you have for my Aries? What is coming towards them in terms of love? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Something coming towards you that is worth waiting for. And Spirit is saying, it's it, take that time to get to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Now, you may have someone new in your life. You may um, be dating someone, you know, for months, wondering where it's going. Spirit is saying, this connection, what is coming towards you in the month of July, is worth fighting for. It's worth the effort. For my Aries for the month of July. The sun. Something amazing is happening in July for you. Happiest card of the deck. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. There is a dream coming true for you. Now, what have you been working hard on? What have you been manifesting? For each one of you, you're going to know better what that is. Because for each of you, it's different. But what do sunflowers do? They steer, they, they like move their, move towards the light. 
And that's what you're doing. A lot of happiness and excitement is coming towards you. For my airy spirit for the month of July. All right. Door to romance. I can't make this up. Door to romance. The sun being right in the center here. We have 333 three, three here, guys. So far, we have spiritual number 333 three, three, and the garden and the gate. This is a number th another three. You will see the synchronicity 3333 three, 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 throughout the month of July now. Be attention, pay attention to your thoughts and your surroundings because spirit is connecting with you. The garden and the gate. You're here, right? You're on the side of the gate. You're happy, right? Content. Doing your best life. Attitude is gratitude because that's what Lotus Sutra tells you. Just beyond the gate, it looks very abundant. It looks very beautiful, right? Green is gr green. The grass is green. There are butterflies showing the growth and the evolving. The birdhouse is showing the communication that's coming in. Um, the offers. Divine presence. That light is so intense catching like see how she's looking towards it catching your attention what will you step beyond that gate to the unknown will you take that leap of faith to the unknown in a new direction look what's at the bottom of the deck collaborate I feel a very special connection coming into your life. All right, let's see. What do we got for Aries? I'm going to pull from multiple decks like I always do, guys. So stick around to the very end. The number three is standing out. So three blessings. Some of you may be a trio of three best friends and you've, you know, been in distance from these people needing to collaborate, needing to catch up, needing to come together. For some of you, you may be at a, you know, a trio in terms of love and needing to make a decision. Three is also the energy of coming together, of excitement, of an adventure. All right, Spirit, what is coming towards Aries? throughout the month of July. Two of, two of Swords being at that crossroads, needing to make a decision. Is there something you've been contemplating on? A choice that you need to make? Spirit is saying it's time to take that blindfold off. It may be a very big decision, head over heart decision. But it's like seeing the truth within a certain situation and taking that blindfold off. Look at this. The Ten of Cups. No more procrastinating, Aries. What are you, what are you thinking long and hard about? What is this dream that you want to make a reality? It's time. The Ten of Cups is here. It's time to close out the chapter of the crossroads. Because what is it doing for you? It's not giving you any type of growth in your life. No more procrastinating. Follow your heart. Because it is leading to this complete emotional happiness. What is coming towards Aries Spirit? The month of July. Alright. We'll take it. The Emperor... You being the best version of yourself, getting ready to roar. That world card, right? You see the, the world right behind the emperor. Have you been thinking about traveling? Maybe a sec, a, accepting a job where you will be traveling. Are you thinking about relocating? Are you thinking about traveling across the world towards a lover? Or maybe compromising and moving towards your lover. 
the emperor is overcoming all challenges, being very practical, very strategic. You know this because you are that divine masculine energy. You are the emperor. And I feel such growth within you. The Ace of Wands. There is that light bulb going off. A brand new beginning waiting for you. Again, you're at the start line. It's something fresh, something new in your life. It feels good. And you've got a lot of passion towards it. The sun coming out twice. Aries, you've got to come back and let me know what this month held for you. Spirit, why is the sun here twice? Why is the sun here twice for Aries? Yeah, it's been worth fighting for. What have you put been putting a lot of time and effort into? What is coming towards you has been worth the wait. It's being delivered to you in the month of July. And look at you. You're standing strong. You're standing tall. You've overcome all of these challenges. Even when it may have felt like you may not, you still worked very hard on what you wanted, just like the spider does. I feel support's been all around you along your journey, your friends, your family, you know, pushing you along. Maybe one specific person that stands out in terms of love who's had your back. And now there is a wish fulfillment coming. All right, Spirit, please clarify the Two of Swords and the Ten of Cups. The Fool, you're taking that leap of faith. You are taking those blinders off. You're stepping out of that crossroads type energy and making a bold decision. Why the Ten of Cups and the Emperor? I got to tell you, for some of you, it's a job offer. It has something to do with your stability. And I love what this says on the notebook. When you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Say that to yourself. When you, when you fail, yeah. When you fail to plan, you plan to fail. For some of you, a light bulb is going off in your mind in the month of July, possibly taking you down a different road in terms of work. Something that you, you know, that you have a passion for that you're going to start could be on your own. It could be in collaboration with a business partner. But there is a bright light going off in your mind in the month of July. And it starts such something that is like a domino effect of complete happiness. Three of Swords. This energy is overcoming heartbreak. There's certain things you're leaving in the past. With the emperor right here, there's something, there's certain things you're overcoming. You're healing from. You're seeing a light at the end of the tunnel through that heartbreak. And spirit, why the ace of wands and the sun? The ace of wands and the sun. I have to say, Aries, through certain situations that you have felt defeated, it has aligned you with the path that you were meant to follow. And on this path, in this month, it's guiding you right to wish fulfillment. Now, again, for some of you, select few of you, I am also getting the message of someone wanting to make an amends with you. You being someone's wish fulfillment and them wanting to make an amends with you. But look at the synchronicity. Make your dreams real. The sun coming through twice. You stepping beyond the gate into the unknown. This is something that you've dreamt of, something that you've wished for, something that you have manifested is coming to fruition in this month. And for each one of you, it's going to be different. For, remember, in terms of relationship, 
door to romance, caring, connection. Someone very special is finding them their way on your path. All right, spirit. Okay, we're going to take those. There it is, overcoming challenges. Stepping beyond the challenges. Stepping out of that crossroads, which I feel for most of you is that challenge. And moving towards happiness, moving towards success. You being recognized, you being noticed. This is a big month of happiness for you, a big month of growth for you. Let's see. Let's see what comes out in terms of love. Because we do have door to romance, getting to know one another, and this worth fighting for. I'm sorry, this worth waiting for. Spirit in terms of love for Aries. What is coming towards them? Six of Swords. Leaving the troubled waters behind you in terms of love and relationships. And coasting forward towards better memories. So from this point on, it's about to get better in your love life. However that is, it's about to get better. Whether you're traveling for personal or business and you find someone during your travels. Like I said, there may be someone at a distance that you haven't seen in a while. And you're making that commitment to travel throughout this month to see them, to reconnect. I feel spirit is divinely guiding you towards this door to romance towards allowing your heart to remain open and free for what is coming towards you. You're feeling very passionate about this journey of where your heart's taking you. I feel you're very attracted towards the person that you're moving towards. If you have been meaning to plan a trip to visit someone, plan that trip, Aries. Three of Swords. Spirit, why is the Three of Swords here twice? Why is the Three of Swords here twice? What is this emotional pain? All right, let's see. The card flew somewhere. Give me one minute. There it is. Magician in reverse. Let me get it. So it came out this way, the Magician in Reverse, Queen of Cups, the Sun again, yes, I feel that there is someone in your energy who wants to make an amends. Someone who put delays on this connection with you. Someone who is feeling very defeated by their choices. Someone who views you as, like I said, wish fulfillment. And I do feel for some of you, Aries, you wished, you've prayed, you've manifested this. And this person is following their heart, following their emotions that they have for you. Yes, there are certain things that got in the way of the two of you being together. You're going to know better what those things are. But with the magician in reverse... This is not making a decision. This is letting certain things get in the way. But the sun is here three times. There is someone who wants to make an amends. Spirit, please clarify the sun being here three times in Aries energy. feel for some of you there was a third party going on here that is coming through strongly there was a third party going on here and this person is missing you in distance this person is ready to take off the rose colored glasses is ready to make that move there are multiple 
you know, side messages that are coming in that I've been trying to work through with everything that I'm being given within your reading. But do know the sun is here three times. So no matter what, everything is about to fall into place in the month of July. For some of you, it's going to be a big door that opens in terms of love and commitment. For others of you, like I said, a choice being made in terms of your work and your career. In the beginning of the reading, I Im immediately felt someone special coming into your life, collaborating with you. You reaching out to those people that you've been meaning to connect with and haven't yet done so. All right, let's see. But a big dream, something you've wished for, you are finally aligning with. All right, Spirit, final messages for my Aries throughout the month of July, everything that they need to know. All right, anything else? All right, yes, confidence is key. Following your, inter your inner guidance, your intuition, believing in yourself and the power that you have. Remember, way back in the beginning of the reading, Divine Masculine showed up in the center of the reading. Believing in yourself. Rising above the drama and the chaos. Your higher self has been awakened, is being awakened through specific challenges that you've endured along your journey. There it is. There is someone. I feel someone resurfacing. Special connection coming towards you. This is the energy of leaving no one left behind. So I feel someone coming back into your life and it's a very special connection. The person that surfaces back into your life, they're coming in to be very faithful about their intentions towards you. Whether it be a friend or a lover, about their intentions, they're being very faithful about it. Pay attention to birds, pay attention to feathers. And here it is, you or the querent, a person you already know. Boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, spouse, love interest. Mm -hmm. And look what I just noticed at the bottom of the deck. The two of cups. You gotta let me know what this is. All right, I'm gonna get a message from your higher self to close out this reading to you, Aries. Speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard loud and clear. Never hold back. Let your true self shine. Those that are meant to be in your energy who love you through and through, they will be there. Those who you're not their cup of tea, let them go. Let them go. Don't chase anything, anyone. Never have that energy of chasing because you're showing the universe it was never yours to begin with. So never chase. Speak up and speak out. Never dim your light for anyone. Love and light. 